In the next 10 minutes I will show you how to solder an ASIC 1366 on uh, Bitexport 204 uh, on the first try and without any mess. Okay, we're gonna take the ASIC from the from the package. Just be careful to not get it flying in the room and use the 15 minutes to, to find it. Then we're gonna sit it in the vise. Again, be careful to not lose it on the ground or get it flying. And we're gonna tighten a little bit. Just be careful to not tighten too too much. You will you will basically break it in in half. I have done it before. Just just a little bit. Then we're gonna get solder paste it's a, it's a cheap solder paste from express with a 183 degree melting temperature it's nothing special with it just normal paste just gonna take a little bit and then i'm in cool environment so it's not flowing really really nicely so just a little bit and we take a little bit of flux. Also, it's a normal flux, uh, but it's cold here, so I have to to warm it a little bit. Starting my iron, just to warm it a little bit to get it. Do not do that with the with the solder paste. <laughs> we get jammed forever. I have done it before. Yes, now it will go. And be careful to not put too much pressure here because you will your iron will, will become some paper and you will basically destroy your ASIC. Be really gentle here. You don't need any pressure. Just a little bit and moving iron around and getting the getting all the solder paste everywhere on the little pin and on the central part too you see here I'm, I'm trying to not tighten too hard just just a little bit yeah I forget completely about my my extraction my ventilation system so I had I started, but I forgot to remove the two the lock. Uh, I have 3D designed and 3D printed the, the extractor to, to fit to my microscope. So if you want the design, just tell me, I will, I will give it to you. I have fun with the regulator you see in the background, the little box in the wall, and I can basically just uh, adjust if I have too much um, fume I can I can just adjust the, the speed of the fan and now we have to clean the, the ASIC I added some flux to the wire there and uh, just to, to, to make it get the job easier it just suck all the, the tin from the from the ASIC we are trying to clean the, the ASIC and get everything off the, of the ASIC. It will be flat, completely flat. So basically we are trying to remove everything. And here I'm trying to do that. Uh, not, not moving around, just pushing. Because as I said, if you move that, you will, you will use it as a sandpaper and you will destroy your ASIC. So be careful. So here I'm just pushing uh, down and also don't push too hard also. The ASIC is fragile, it will break. As you see there, it's completely clean. Now the, the color has changed. You can see the color of the pins and the middle somewhere from the uh, gold-like uh, uh, color to, to silver color. And you know you have basically everything tint and I'm ready to, to be sold in place.
yeah now we just take it apart maybe clean it a little bit now yeah, isopropyl alcohol also yeah and again don't lose it on the ground now nicely cleaned and we're gonna take my stencil uh, template I I just cut the, the, the big stencil I get with my PCB when I command it you can you can just I just cut it on 3d printed the the, the jig it's, I have also the design if you want it and it yeah I always begin with the ASIC and the ESP32 you can see here you can I you can unscrew the screws and, and adjust this you can see here it's completely perfectly aligned okay and I take the same uh, paste I used for for the cleaning of the ASIC again just put it on the places where you need to here I'm just doing it for the ESP32 the and the ASIC spread it and put a little bit of pressure on it yeah you can you can use pressure I'm in cold temperature here so my 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 it's a little bit cold and 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 it's not it's not uh, messy it's like uh, when it's cold you have you have like good consistent with the paste if you buy a really expensive uh, uh, paste it will it will it's not temperature dependent but here it's a cheap uh, Aliexpress uh, paste and and it is uh, temperature uh, to get affected with temperature so so if you if you want to you can keep it in the fridge and the the board also so when you you do that the, the, the paste don't go between the, the the template and the board so so it get completely messy you will see now when we I remove the, uh, the template from the the jig you will see how nice it is don't go under the and it if it's happened you can just uh, clean everything with the isopropyl alcohol and let it cool down in the fridge and just do it again you, you don't have you have to do this part right or, or you will get a messy experience now we sit it in the vise just yeah here you can tighten not too much of course but yeah enough it's not uh, the board are really tough I don't think it you can you can crack it but yeah now we're gonna put the uh, place the basic in place and of course it's getting the, the the leg of the microscope get on the in the way and we just have to yeah you have to be really careful when you place it you see it's, it's really easy to see which part will go and where you have the little yeah the big part there and little yeah, so yeah place it and be really gentle here you don't need to push anything just gently push the ASIC in place so you don't uh, smear the the paste all over the place the, the, the work we have done with the jig yeah. or the stencil will <laughs> will be you have to do it again if, if, if you do that so be careful here and gentle pushing the ASIC in place you see here I'm a little bit struggling to, to do that there and just yeah Then we start the air gun, 350 degrees, with the lowest possible, yes, with the lower speed, lower speed possible for the for the air gun. 
350 degrees and we go I basically go from the from the side put it on the side on a little bit of and let it do its job we're gonna begin to see how the uh, how the paste begin to change color move a little bit and you see this side I put it from the this side and we, we, if you follow you will you will see the the paste change color and the other side will will too at the end just moving it around a little bit and you can see it's, it's beginning to change color now change color and you see it is yeah changing a little bit you see here some of them begin to, to to look like solid. See, everything now is getting like small more from from the side, and and the other side begin also to to uh, to change. And then you just move the 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 gun to the other side to finish the job. And you see it's, it's going really fast because the board is, is warm. You see here, all everything is getting nicely in place. Here I set a little bit of flux to just if anything is shorted between, it get uh, solder uh, paste or or the tin uh, get move more or when when you have flux. So so if anything is in between. It will it will move to to to, to the other pin and then you will not have any any shorts most of the time. And here, I just take some isopropyl alcohol and just clean. Do not put the the the, the cleaning alcohol directly on the ASIC. Just begin gently because the temperature is too high so so you don't want to have some thermal shock so so you have to just clean a little bit on the side so you the board and the ASIC uh, cool down too can wait to do that but I like to do that because when the flux get a little bit uh, cold it's harder to remove so it's better to do that when, when the it's warm it's much easier to do and now I can just uh, screen everything. Yes, and then you can see that everything is in place and nicely. Yeah, maybe you can not see that really. Perfect. If you want me to to just remove it, remove this ASIC and and clean it and do it again, like like if you if you don't get it from the first try, just tell me. I will I will try to do it. Uh, next video we will take the ESP32 and uh, and see how we do that. It's a little bit tricky too because it has two a lot of pins and you have to align everything. But as you see, the the preparation work. Our job is is most important part. Yeah. If you have any question or tools you, you want me to to put that in the description or anything I use, you want to to know where to get it from. So just uh, just ask me. So I will I will give you the links. Yeah. Bye bye. I thank you for watching.